Hi, I'm Bonnie Francis, and we're here with Ann Rowe, who works for Benson and Mangold. That's correct. Real estate. Um, they're going to be out at the Senior Summit on May 19th, out at the 4-H Park, outside of Centerville. So I want to talk to you first about um, services that you offer at your business, and then we'll talk about the summit and what they people may ask you out there. So as far as what Benson and Mangold offers. Okay. Benson and Mangold's um, um, a family real estate firm with um, probably a combined 100 years of experience in real estate in the um, Midshore area. And they have gone from maybe um, starting with 10 agents and over 100. So we're across the Midshore. Right. We have an office in um, um, Queen Anne's County now also. Um, what do we offer? We offer everything. It's really kind of interesting because a lot of our agents have had um, backgrounds or experience in other kind of community work. Uh -huh. um, um, they professional and volunteer. Where everybody's very involved in their communities. Um, we have over a hundred professionals that we can call on if we and we all have different expertises. Mine happens to be I. Um, specialize in real estate for seniors okay because I enjoy working with seniors it's kind of it's a little bit of a selfish thing because working with seniors I find that my job is diversified I not sitting at the desk or driving around in the car a lot of times I'm actually hands-on and helping them you know rearrange their house um, decide what they want to keep and what they want to give away what they need to live live what they need when they move or transition into another home okay what they need to keep um, I don't know. Now you kind of would network, like if someone is going to move and they have furniture, I mean, do you know? Do you I do. I do. And I'm glad you brought that up because I can't stress enough um, the importance of using local professionals when you need somebody. When you need resources and you need support, go to somebody in the community. Some of the um, most frightening or, or, or terrible things that have happened to clients that I've been involved with. Um, have been when they reached out and used professionals that were not local. Um, I had uh, a woman transitioning to uh, South Carolina to move with a daughter. Uh -huh. She was, um, though I had given her a list of um, insured and professional movers that were local, she decided to, to um, take a national um, franchise company that wasn't local. The move, they didn't show up on time. They didn't get the move done on time. Uh, she barely made it to settlement, and I had to call in the local movers and packers and cleaners to um, take care of it so that we could complete her, her right. sale and her transition. So I can't express how important it is to use local. Well, and, and one of the things with doing local is that you see those people right, in the community. Right, 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 absolutely. So if you have relatives that are still living here, although you moved, then you got to face those relatives and know exactly. whether the job went well or didn't. Exactly, exactly. So, and where are you located? As well, far I'm as actually uh, I'm actually in St. Michael's in the St. Michael's office. That's that's where I work out of. But we find that um, people um, moving, you know, there are a lot of people that move within the counties here on the Eastern Shore, but um, also people that move from the Western Shore or other states. We we're, we're knowledgeable about you know Queen Anne, Caroline, Talbot, Dorchester. Um, we have to be because people that are not familiar, moving into the area and not familiar, they want to see every one of those communities and every one of those small towns okay. because they're not familiar with it. So we're, we make ourselves familiar with those places. Well, and they offer different things. They sure I, do. I know with Centerville, it's not so much on the water as someone that may be moving into Chestertown, right. which has that access right there to the Chester River. Right, right. And that might make a difference to somebody and, and where they want to move. Absolutely, absolutely. Every, every town has something to offer, um, whether it's uh, affordable housing for seniors or um, um, communities that, that, you know, 55 plus communities, which you do over here at Symphony Village, and, um, and also, you know, retirement as, as you age. Um, so what will you offer out at the Senior Summit? When, when someone comes to the table, well, I am, what, what do you actually do? Okay, um, I, besides being a realtor and having the SRES Seniors Real Estate Specialist designation that I do, um, I'm also a um, certified relocation and transition specialist. So I help people make decisions about the next step, right. about where, where it might be a good place to move and, and, 
or if they want to live where they are to make their home more comfortable as they age. Um, so I will probably be handing out um, the guides that I've come up with to help people uh, identify the most important pieces in, in considering a transition or a move as you get older. Um, things that you might not think about, um, I think I've compiled a list of things that, that you just want to you know, take into consideration. When you're 83 years old and you're going to make a move, you really have to think long and hard about that move. You want to be comfortable in that place until, um, you know, until the end of your days. Right. So, so I have a lot of points, a lot of things that people might not think about that, um, that they can kind of, a little checklist. So do you have a number that someone could call you if they don't get to, I mean, we want people to come out to the senior summer, but if they wouldn't and they're thinking of transitioning, could they give you a call to set up an appointment? Oh, absolutely. Um, I, I really do love helping seniors. You know, that funny thing about those bud, buzzwords about passion, but that is my passion. I really enjoy helping seniors through transitions. Um, and my office number, Benson & Mangold in St. Michael's, 410 745 0415. Okay. And then I have a cell that, you know, anybody can use, and it's 443-786-2568. Okay. But you can, and, and your name's Ann Rowe. Ann Rowe. Oh, yeah. I'm Ann Rowe. <laughs> and you can call any Benson and Mangold office, and, um, you know, they'll direct you to me, and, and, and just a wonderful group of people. Anything else you want to let us know? Um, I that guess I, I also, um, you know, I'm just very interested in the world of real estate, and but I have a very creative side too. So I'm a trained um, stager. Okay. So um, I'm a, uh, I'm a, I'm trained to be a professional stager, but I'm actually a realtor, and I just use those uh, all those um, different skills, avenues. Yes, avenues yeah. and skills, uh -huh. right, to help my clients. But uh, I think I like. I, I enjoy mixing all those things up, as I said in the beginning, you know, sitting at well, a desk. Well, you never know what opportunity. The Lord opens the door and right, you right, just right, right. Are, use whatever, you know, resources you have. Absolutely. With the different training you have. And the experiences. and Right. Right. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Well, we thank you for coming in. Oh, and bye. hopefully people will come by your table and get some information that might help them. Yes, absolutely. I'd love to talk to anybody. I, I enjoy meeting all kinds of people and seniors especially. So will you get a chance to go around the summit and look at I am going to bring myself a little helper and okay. I, I'm learning new things every day. So right. I will absolutely walk around that summit and see what everybody else has to offer so, so I can have those things in my toolkit to offer. Oh yeah, yeah. Offer my clients too. Yep. Well, thank you for coming oh, in. My pleasure. Thanks for Good having me, Bonnie. You. Same yeah. here. Same here.